you know, I mean, the great thing, the great thing about this show is you really don't want to. You do, but you, you really don't want to spoil it. Yeah. I mean, we've been excited every year you know, as a viewer of the show, as a watcher of the show. Um, I, I want to be excited. I want to know where the story's going to go. I want to be surprised. I want to find out what's going on. I think they're in a fascinating position. I think the fact that Jeremy's come back to the show, you know, from, from the area that he wrote from, which was a fantastic part of the supernatural folklore and building it, to come back to, and to take the helm now, you know, with the things that he said, things that he said in, uh, in Hall H, you know, the focus, the boy, you know, the boys not being on the back foot, the boys being very much, you know, on, on, on the aggressive stance rather than the defensive stance. I think it's going to make a massive difference to this season. And Crowley, you know, there's some, there's some stuff that's gone on. I appear to have, and certainly at this point, I appear to have Kevin. Left with Kevin, we'll see what the deal is there. And you know, I guess we're probably going to have to address where Crowley's going. I think the interesting thing that he said was the nature of the relationship between Crowley and the boys. It's actually not always been that malevolent. There's always been that give and take. There's always yeah. been that mm -hmm. that uh, that reciprocal you know, ideal, I guess. And uh, which has led people to the you know the thing is: is he really a demon? Is he really a, you know? You, those questions get asked. But uh, I think this year the contention is, is, is going to be much higher because there's a singular goal or, or a series of goals, I guess, that uh, we seem to be pursuing at the same time. The fun part is, the fun part is, I've always been excited, even on the seasons where people have like, I'm not sure, you know, five was so powerful, five, you know, the culmination of five was so powerful, and then six is like, everyone's going to be disappointed because how do you match, you know, the build to five, and I thought six was actually wonderful, some of the best episodes made were in six, as a season it was kind of really interesting, really hard to get to, seven, you know, it has it has its ups and downs, and people are like, oh, look at this, like, what are you doing, we're still here, we're still going, and it's, it's still not boring, it's still interesting and it's still character development. And now to see where we've turned to, it's not the easy way, this is not the easy path. And I think Jeremy and Ben and, and, and Daniel and everybody else, and all those great writers, uh, uh, you know, it's, this is the baby, this is, this is, they want this to be good, they want this to be the best supernatural it can be. It's not just bang it out and see what, you know, let's, let's turn it into a procedure. Well, that's the most exciting thing is if it pisses fans off, it's usually really good. Yeah. <laughs> because that's the best thing for fans. I've been in a lot of genre shows, a lot of big fans. And they want to be challenged. I mean, I was just, I was just bumped into Moffat, and you know, there's a man who spends his entire time pissing off fans, yeah. but in the greatest possible way, in the most brilliantly intellectual and brilliant, brilliantly clever ways. And come on, let's be honest, that's what we want. As fans, we want to be a little pissed off and pissed off. Right? <laughs>